Your lymphatic system plays an important role in immune health. It produces cells that fight off disease. But when the lymphatic system, such as the vessels or the lymph nodes, are clogged or backed up or dysfunction, it can cause issues such as lymphedema, which is chronic swelling, or the inability to fight off infections or illnesses. However, there are some things that someone can do to help improve the function and the health of the lymphatic system. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist as well as a certified lymphedema therapist. And today in this video, I'm going to share the main ways to help keep the lymphatic system healthy. But before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below or follow along on Instagram for more related content. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into what I think is the most important one, and that is movement. Your lymphatic flows from the outer parts of your body, so your hands and your feet, back towards the heart. This movement is created by variations in pressure in the lymphatic system. So the pressure inside the vessels versus the pressure outside the vessels in what we call the interstitial space or the space around those tissues. There is no major organ that plays a role in pumping this system like you would think for the heart. The muscles in the body are really what create a pump for the lymphatic system to help propel that lymphatic fluid through the lymphatic vessels. So movement and exercise are crucial. We want to make sure that we're including both aerobic or cardio exercise as well as strength and core exercise. I have created a lot of other videos on lymphatic exercise routines that someone can follow along with and I'll place a link for that playlist up above. Otherwise, just find something that someone enjoys could be great, either swimming or walking or biking or maybe someone has a rebounder. All of those are really good options. Just remember, something is always better than nothing. Another way to help keep the lymphatic system healthy is with diet. Thinking about foods that are like leafy green vegetables, herbs, fruits, or other plant-based foods that have a lot of vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and fiber in them can really help immune health. We do want to make sure someone has some sort of healthy fat like omega-3s that are anti-inflammatory within their diet, as well as making sure someone's getting an adequate amount of protein for a balance. I have a lot of questions or things are brought up about eating salt or sodium in the diet. You do need a certain amount of salt or sodium in the diet, but most individuals get too much salt or sodium. That being said, yes, they're known to cause retention of fluid, but that is not gonna be a major component of lymphedema. Those are gonna be separate, so someone may have a little bit of retention from their diet, but overall the lymphatics and lymphedema is a chronic condition that is separate. So really in the end, all we're looking at at a big picture is to find a balanced diet that is overall healthy in nature. The next way to make sure to keep the lymphatic system healthy is to hydrate well. Not having enough fluid can really make the lymphatic system sluggish. So it's important to make sure to get four to eight, eight ounce glasses of water every day. The exact amount of fluid does depend on someone's body size as well as their activity level. I do often hear that some people think that if they have lymphedema or they have chronic swelling, that they actually should not drink as much fluid because they already have too much fluid backed up in the system. And just know that the opposite is true. We wanna make sure that you are staying well hydrated to make sure that we're flushing the system through and keeping the entire lymphatic system healthy. Another way to keep the lymphatic system healthy is with massage or lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage is a technique that is used to help stimulate the lymphatic vessels and the lymph nodes that are right underneath the skin to help again propel that fluid out. Like we talked about before, exercise can help pump the lymphatic system, but also helping to use that lymphatic drainage to help guide the fluid is another great option. You have a lot of lymph nodes that sit right under the skin. The main lymph nodes that sit right underneath the skin are in the armpits or the axillas, as well as in the groin or the inguinal lymph nodes, and then in the head and neck area, your head and neck lymph nodes. And so doing circles that are gentle right around the areas of the lymph nodes can help stimulate them or speed them up. And then working on gentle strokes with the lymphatic drainage in the direction or along the pathways of the lymphatic vessels can get that fluid moving. I have created a lot of videos on lymphatic drainage that someone can follow along with for just about every part of the body. So just be sure to check out the rest of my channel and find what part of the body that you're looking for. 
Another way to help improve the health of the lymphatic system is to avoid chemicals and toxins. There are extra chemicals and toxins in just about everything we come in contact with, from makeup or household cleaning products and sometimes unfortunately even food. The less chemicals and toxins that are not natural for our body, the better. Because when we have a lot of these excess chemicals in our body, our immune system does have to work to fight some of this off and clean out and detox from the body. And so anything we can do to help avoid that system from being an overload can be really helpful for your lymphatic system. The last item that we're going to talk about today as a way to help improve the health of the lymphatic system is with reduction of stress. Stress in the body can create more inflammation in the body, which can really affect the lymphatic system and how the lymph fluid moves within the interstitial space or within the tissues. And so by decreasing stress in the body, we can help decrease the inflammation within the body as well. So there are a lot of different ways to help reduce stress. Most people will know things like meditation or yoga, but my favorite for the lymphatic system is with deep breathing. We talked about before with lymphatic drainage that you have vessels and lymph nodes that sit right under the skin. Well, you also have deep lymph channels or deep lymph nodes as well. Most of them sit in the abdomen or the belly area. And so by taking three to five deep belly breaths throughout the day can really help stimulate and activate these deep lymph nodes to get the lymphatic system pumping as well. I have created another video on deep breathing for the lymphatics, which I will link up above that you can check out further. So those are the main ways to help keep the lymphatic system healthy. For more videos related to lymphatic health, be sure to subscribe down below, and we'll see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone!